All right, so today um, I'm going to do a project, something I've never done before. Uh, I have this African giant millipede specimen, Archispirostreptus gigas, and I had this alive. Uh, I used to be able to get these and uh, for, for pets, and I used them in my teaching programs because it's a really big millipede. It's the largest millipede in the world. Uh, and you could get them, from, oh, you used to be able to get them for like 20 bucks. But um, they've closed down their exportation from Africa, and that's probably a good thing. They don't want to overcollect them. They're still available uh, captive bred specimens, but, oh, something like this would be like two or $300. Um, they're big. Uh, I think they say 11 inches is the biggest. So this one is 10 a little over 10 inches, so this is nearly as big as I get. Anyway, um, I had it in my teaching program for years, and it finally died of old age. And uh, it's been uh, preserved in alcohol for, oh God, years and years. I mean, it must, maybe 10 years. Uh, so if you had one of these you were going to try and preserve, um, I would soak them in alcohol for sure. It dissolves out the uh, fat out of the body, kills all the bacteria. Um, they can become a bit stiff when they're soaking in alcohol, so that's an issue. But this one, actually, I was able to unroll it, and it came out pretty good. It's a cute little face. Um, now, the trouble is, if I was going to pin this in my collection, just put pins through it and have it like this. I actually have one in the collection. The legs are here on the bottom, and they're going to come in contact with the substrate, and they're going to break. Uh, also, it's hard, and you have to have, like, three pins to hold this thing in place. So I've been trying to think of how I could um, do that differently, and I think I've come up with a plan. So I'm going to try this. It's going to be the first time uh, I'm going to try it. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. So I'm going to use a piece of uh, foam core. This is available at like art supply places. And my plan is to cut a piece of this foam core in a narrow strip um, about the wide, about a third as wide as the body, so this strip will sit just below the legs, and then leave a couple of cross members on it, uh, and then use pins to hold the millipede to the board, and then I can pin this board into the museum drawer. Um, part of the problem is this teaching collection, I need to move it around. I, you know, it gets they put in a cardboard box with other drawers in the back of my car and moved, put on a hand truck, brought to the classroom. So however I prepare these things, they've got to be stable enough that they can withstand some jostling around. And if something this large and heavy um, is a particular challenge for that because uh, it's very likely, much more likely to break loose of its anchor um, if it's big and has mass like this. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is decide how to cut this piece of foam core. And I think I want to have the, um, the support. It doesn't have to be all the way to the end. Maybe sort of right about here to sort of right about there. So I'm going to just, just pick a random size. I think that should do it. And then I'll just take, I've got an X-Acto knife here. And I can just cut this foam core. There. Now, I want a, um, a strip that will support the length of the body. And on the ends, I want um, T extensions that I can put pins through and anchor it into the uh, box. So the um, Let's use millimeters here. So I want maybe a one centimeter strip should work. And this is almost four. So we're just going to make a one centimeter strip uh, down, down the center, which means it should have um, uh, a centimeter and a half on each side. So. I'll just mark a centimeter and a half in, and a centimeter and a half in from the edge. I'll do the same down here. Centimeter and a half, centimeter and a 
half. And then I should be able to just connect these dots. Yeah, I do have a giant millipede pinned in my teaching collection, and it's just pinned uh, with just pins to support it. And it's resting on the legs, and the legs are just breaking off because they're just too fragile to come in contact with that. And now I need my T support, and it doesn't have to be much, but I want it to be enough to um, actually give it some strength. So, oh, let's call it a centimeter. Why not? I'll go one centimeter in. And the same down here. And that should be enough to support it. Okay. So, now I've got to remove the um, uh, these side bits and leave this out. I'm just going to turn this off while I do that. Alright, so I made another one. Um, uh, in, uh, I found that in cutting this um, damaged some of the foam in between the two pieces of paper and really want all that intact because that's what's going to give this its strength. And I cut it slightly wider, a little bit wider than the other one, so I think I'm just going to leave this just the way it is. And, let's see, yeah, I want this to rest like right about there on the specimen. So my idea is to use maybe four pins. I've um, got these glass head sewing pins. And to push them through this platform from the bottom and then attach the millipede to the pins on top like, like this. So the pins go through the millipede's body. And I'll put a little glue in there to hold them in. And I did play around with this a little earlier to see if um, these pins could actually work in here. And what I need to do is um, is uh, to make a little cut around where the pin goes through so this head of the pin will be more flush. So anyway, I just drew a little circle there. And uh, let me grab my X-Acto knife. All right, so I've got this one set in. And I'll want another pin at this end. Maybe right about there. And so I'll mark that spot. And I'll take my X-Acto knife and just make a little cut around that spot. Yeah, with some glue uh, around this head of the pin to reinforce it. It doesn't take much. You know, you see me use glue all the time to reinforce a repair on a specimen or uh, oh, any number of things. But uh, just a little bit of glue can really hold it all into place. Yeah, all right, and then I'll just take this distance, which is um, 14 centimeters, so halfway would be seven, and, and then I'll just sort of split that like that, and I'll have one there and one there. And I think four, four pins should be able to support this well enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll make some more uh, cuts here and get the pins in, and then we'll mount the centipede on. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, glue these pins in, and I think I'm going to use, I usually use this uh, blue gel for repairs and stuff, but I've got some just uh, white glue. Elmer's Extreme. Um, that's uh, sort of extra thick and pretty sturdy stuff. So 
I'm going to put um, a glob of glue in each of these holes and then put the pins through and, uh, and then let that set for a little while uh, to dry before I go on to the next step. Alright, so a glob of glue, glue, and glue. And on the other side, I want these pins to be fairly straight up and down. That's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to set this here. Make sure that these pins are nice and straight in there. Yeah. You know what? It might not be a bad idea if I had um, a little square of foam core and put it around this pin and glue it to this board. I think that would reinforce it. I think that's a very good idea. I'm going to do that. So I'll take a strip like this and just cut a little section. Like this. And put it on the pin and glue it. Yeah, that'll really help hold it in place. Yeah, I think that's an excellent idea. And then I can put a little glue in between there, and that will really um, help to brace that pin. Okay, all right, so you see now I've cut these little uh, pieces of foam core, and I've got them on the pin, and I've got glue around on the base, so I can just push these through, and those will sit that block will sit right between the millipede's legs if it comes that far down on the pin. Oh yeah, that's much better. That's going to be really sturdy. All right, I think I might take a hair dryer to this. I need to get this project done. I've got other things to do. Okay, so the glue is dry on this now, and these pins are pretty sturdy in there. Now I need to try and mount the specimen on this. Should be interesting. When I pulled this millipede out of the uh, alcohol, I laid it in the groove of this spreading board. It fit pretty well in there. And then I used these long pins to just sort of hold it down. And it's been drying for, I don't know, a couple of weeks, so it's completely dry. It's still a little flexible. And I've had these apart after they've dried out. And the inside, there's not a lot of musculature. I mean, they're pretty strong when they're alive, but it's sort of kind of pithy, like a, a plant that has a pithy kind of interior. It's not that terribly strong. Um, so anyway, it, it will also benefit as a specimen from being supported like this. All right, so here we go. I'm going to try and figure out how to do this. I don't know whether I should try and do it like this, or maybe I'll try and do it 
like this. I want the pin to go between the uh, leg sections. Yeah, it's kind of uh, thick to penetrate to. I'm just going to try and push one in. All right, that went in. Looks like they're all lined up, so maybe I'll just do them one at a time. Get the pin in the center. This pin in the center, and this one in the center. And then this one in the center, okay. Now I'll gradually work this thing down onto the pins. I think it's going to work. All right, so that's all the farther I can push it. So I assume the pin has gone up and it's hitting the top of the specimen. And I guess that will be a good stable place for it to be. It's not entirely flat. All right, let's see how that lays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. And see, so I can take uh, pins to hold. I can put four pins, one in each of these tabs, and it'll hold it, hold it in the box. I can just stick one in right now. I'll use these little short uh, sewing pins with the white head. Now, normally I would, in these videos, I would place this into the box, into the teaching collection, but um, my non-insect arthropod box is in the process of being reorganized so um, I won't I won't do that but at some point I will when I reorganize that box I'll shoot a video and you can see it go in um, the, the color on this is pretty good um, I had another one of these specimens that was curled up because when they're alive they'll curl up to protect themselves and uh, that's another way to have one as a specimen and the legs aren't vulnerable because the legs are all on the inside of the spiral. And I had that in a box for a long time, but I actually donated that to the uh, University of Washington Burke Museum of Natural History because they needed a millipede specimen. And that specimen, the color was gone, uh, very faded out on the body, and I just painted it with acrylic, which looked really good. And there's some sort of light-colored bands here. You can see where the sections, for some reason, it's a little lighter. So I might clean this up. I might even put some acrylic on it. I'll definitely get a Q-tip and some alcohol and clean it up, but um, I'm going to call that a success. Uh, I think that will keep the specimen safe. I can move it all around. It's not going to get damaged. The legs will be intact. You can sort of see the legs better, too, if you look at it from the side a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to work.